Okay, so we're here at the Salvation Army thrift store. And we're just looking through the clothes. Just skimming through. Um, but I just wanted to check the PJ section because I want to see if there's any Victoria's Secret like pajama set with the pants and t-shirt set. Oh look, a velour tracksuit, but it's size small. Yeah, that's not going to fit me. <laughs> it's purple, it's my favorite color. Oh look, a pink purple track suit. And it's two piece for $12.99. It's size medium though, but I'm not sure that's probably not gonna fit me though. One day I hope to find a velour track suit that is in my size and it's purple. So one day I'll find it. And it and it has a good brand too. So when I'm at the thrift store, I usually look for good brands and like that are good quality. So that's what I look for. We're still looking at the PJs. There's a lot of interesting patterns. Even a little bit of Christmas stuff. So I saw a reindeer little shirt. So yeah, Christmas stuff does show up a little bit in the thrift store. So here we see a cheetah print top. It's a pajama top and it's Victoria's Secret pink, which is what I'm looking for, but it's not a set, it's just the top. Yeah, so I'm not I'm putting it back because I'm not looking for just the top. I just want a PJ set. But that's fine. We'll keep looking for more stuff even though I can just go to more thrift stores and look for more. You know, I can just go to other thrift stores, but we're just going to look here and see what we find. So we're looking at the jackets and we see some puffer jackets, some fuzzy fur jackets. One day I want to find a fake fur trim jacket with fur on the cuff sleeves and it's long and it's like green color. I don't know how to show or describe it, but maybe I can show a picture on the corner of the screen. But if not, that's fine. So we're looking at the sweatshirts, the hoodies. And we're just looking through really fast. And I see this Adidas jacket hoodie, actually. And it's $12.99. Not bad for Adidas. Um, but if it was on a color tag sale, it'll probably be cheaper. But $12.99 is not bad. So yeah, we're just looking really fast. Okay, so we're at the purses and I see this fake Dooney and Burke bag that is like a like a copy of it. <laughs> and there's not much new purses I see. So I see a lot of shoulder bags 
and all that different patterns. Yeah, there's a lot of crossbody bags. Oh my god, that is so cute! It's fake fuzzy fur. It's so interesting. <laughs> and then there's this pink bag. And then there's these backpacks and also a wickered bag, tote bag. And we're looking at the wallets real quick. Uh, don't see anything new. But we're still looking. Okay, so we're here at the electronics and I thought of looking at looking at the electronics because you never know what you find. So there's headphones, interesting for $5.99. I don't know if those even work. I don't know if I can buy headphones at the thrift store because I'm not sure if they work. You have to test it out. Some headphones and some cords. And then there's this, whoa, drop stuff. I'll pick that up in a second. And there's telephones. I'm dropping things today. <laughs> that looks like, I am probably think that maybe a printer or a scanner or something. That's what I'm guessing. I could be wrong, but there's also telephones and some Sony DVD player for $8.99. Very cool. So we see on the bottom there is a boom box radio slash CD system. It looks really cool. And it's in the box, so maybe it maybe it works. You never know. But I already have a CD player, so I don't need one. Then there's this other CD player. That one could be another radio or like a, like a listening to music type of thing. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> just guessing. So we see this wireless desktop keyboard in its box so that's not bad maybe works but i mean it's in a box so i guess it works and then there's an answering system for like the telephone voicemail thing there's clocks there's also speakers too which i'm not sure if they work but you never know you, you can just test them out if you are interested in those type of things and that's a Sony, looks like an iPod, like, like, like you can listen to music and put your iPod connected to it or something like that. It could be that, I could be wrong, but still, I'm just looking through, just guessing <laughs> again. So I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, the brand is on, so I think you see those brands at Walmart, I believe, I'm not sure. So we're just looking over here and I see this Build-A-Bear workshop set, or like not a set, but like a bag. It's cute. So we're looking over here at the, the clothes, the sweaters. We're just looking through it real quick. I'm trying to look for a brown colored sweatshirt like a turtleneck sweater but we're just gonna look through so like something like that but like in my size <laughs> oh look this pink sweater so cute but not gonna get it so we're looking at the sweatshirts again. $4.99 for that. $4.99. So I see these heart jeans and they're really interesting, but I'd rather try jeans at Goodwill because you can go in the fitting rooms and try them on. 
so we're looking at the stuffed animals because I'm trying to look for a Care Bear, like a vintage Care Bear, or even a new Care Bear. But they're cute. The lion is $3.99. They're really cute stuffed animals. There's a little puppy dog. It's so cute. And then there's stuffed animals in bags. Who knows, there could be binny babies. Binny babies. But yeah, there's some interesting little stuffed animals. So cute. But I'm probably not going to find a Care Bear because all, all these stuffed animals are all stuffed on the top shelf. Oh, I almost dropped that. But on the top shelf, it's a little crowded with a lot of stuffed animals, so they fall on the floor easily. So I can't probably find what I'm looking for, but it was good just to look at it, just to look through. So in this bag, they have like a little fish toy that reminds me of a fish toy that I might have had when I was little. But it looks really cute, and I might be a Binnie Baby, but I'm not sure. I kind of forgot what brand it is, but it was in that little bag, and it... It's very nostalgic for me, but other than that, we're, we, we're finished looking at the teddy bears. So we're looking at the CDs because I really want to find CDs of any type. Um, maybe like certain music from the 2000s that I'm trying to look for. So we're just looking through. And I see a Destiny's Child CD. So the CD has remixes and it looks pretty cool. I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to keep looking through the CDs a little bit, see what we find. It takes time and patience to look through the CDs because you got to make sure you find what you're basically what you're trying to find basically. <laughs> so we're skimming through looking at it. Sometimes just pulling out the CDs and looking through them make more sense. We found a Nelly Furtado CD. I'm probably butchering the name, but still, it's a Nelly CD and it looks clean. And I saw the same type of CD, type of CD, at another store and it was like $7 or 6 So this is a good deal. So we found this Jennifer Lopez CD and we're going to open it up. And we're going to check the CD to see if it's clean. Yep, it looks pretty clean. So we got lucky today and we're going to pick these CDs up. And this is all I'm going to show you guys for today. So thank you for watching and have a great day. All right, bye.